So one Saturday we, we had a baptism um, and scheduled for our church um, for an investigator we were teaching. And we went to the church that Saturday to fill up the baptismal font for their baptism. And I remember we got to the church and we had the key. So we opened the doors and we were able to get into the church. But we realized that we didn't have a key in order to get to the baptism font and open up the door to the font to start filling it up. And we had gotten there a couple hours early because it took a couple hours for the font to fill up. But without the key to open that door, we couldn't get in and we couldn't start filling up the font. And so we were, we were stuck there in that dilemma of, oh no, we have a baptism, but we can't get into the font. What do we do? So we start calling all of our ward members who we think would have keys, and none of them are able to come by the church to give us the keys. And so we're just stuck. You know, we have a baptism coming up soon, and we're not able to fill up the font, so it looks like it can't happen. And that was just a really discouraging thing to think about. And so we just kept telling ourselves, no, we have to make this happen. And so... Um, so I started thinking about faith and how faith precedes the miracle. And, you know, I was thinking this is a moment where we need a miracle. And so we need to show some faith and see if we can get a miracle from this, we can, if we can get a baptism. So um, I remember just praying and asking God to inspire us to know what to do in order to receive a miracle. And the thought came to me, go around the church and fill up every bucket you can find with water. And I was just like, that was... That's kind of interesting. So I was like, all right. So I was like, I was told my companion, I was like, let's go around the church and let's just fill up every bucket we can find with water. And he's like, okay. So we go around and we start filling up every bucket that we can find with water. And it was, I guess it could be kind of funny if you were looking from a distance to seeing these two missionaries filling up all these buckets with water. But the interesting thing was, is that as soon as we had filled all of them up, and as soon as we were filling the last one up to the top of the water, as soon as it got full, all of a sudden we heard this little jingle of keys from somewhere inside the church and we looked at each other and we said, do you hear that? And so we ran through the church and it turns out that there was a brother who just got there who was opening the financial office or something. But we asked him and he had a key to open up the font. And so that was just a really interesting experience in knowing that if we would have just sat there doing nothing or if we would have just sat there even just praying, I don't know if God would have given us the miracle. But once we started going around acting in faith, filling up those buckets with water, God looked down at us and said, hey, this is, they're showing their faith. They need a miracle. Boom. And so we were able to get the key, open up the font, and we were able to have a baptism that day. And it was a really beautiful experience. And it taught me a lot about faith.